Do you want to achieve a dream but you believe that you don't have time? Today I'm gonna smash that belief and I'm gonna tell you how you can make more time to bring that dream into reality. Welcome to the Peppy. I'm Peppy, your life coach. What do you think it's between you and those dreams that you think are so far away and you don't have time to bring them into reality? Come on, be honest. Not that thing. It's your BS. So what? Your BS as belief system. I almost got you there, didn't I? We often say, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have time for this. When in fact, what we mean is, I'm sorry, I don't want to make time for this because I don't want to do it. We repeat so many times to everyone and to ourselves that we don't have time that we can't as an excuse as if we are the victims so you know if i can't if i'm the victim i'm gonna be like oh poor you you didn't bring your dream into reality but the thing here the good news is that we are responsible for our dreams coming true it's our choices that make the difference so if we are responsible for our beliefs responsible for our feelings and responsible for our behaviors that's good news because you can change that if you repeat so many times that you don't have time for something you're just creating a big huge fat excuse we might not control the actions of others but we can control our own actions excuses are dream killers every time that you repeat an excuse a dream dies plus every time that you repeat an excuse you start believing your old yeah, belief system Every time you repeat an excuse, it gets deeper and deeper into your brain until it transforms into a belief. And it's not that you can't. It's not that you don't have time. It's that, that you want because you don't want to. So how to make time? How to change that BS into something productive that will help you make your dreams come true. During the next week, track your time. Like all the time. Take a tiny note and track everything you do. Walk the dog, bring the kids to school, preparing breakfast, dinner, lunch, you name it. Everything. Take notes about how much time you spend there. And also on social media, watching Netflix, procrastinating, you know, like just dumb scrolling. Everything. Just take notes of everything during a week. You're gonna be surprised on how much time you use into things that are not good for you to bring your dreams into reality. The results might shock you. You might have been wasting your time in the wrong place. Not walking the dog, not playing with the kids, but on social media. Completely wasting your time with very complicated recipes. The opportunity cost is actually too high. So, how can you make time to make your dream come true? How do you think I made time for this? Link in comments. Well, you need to carve out time from non-essential activities. And that includes cooking. Wait, what? Cooking? Yeah, cooking. I'm gonna give you an example. If you cook every day just before lunch or dinner, you are setting yourself up for disaster because you're gonna need at least an hour, half an hour or an hour every day, maybe more, for cooking for you and your family. However, if you know how to meal prep every two days, you're gonna reduce the amount of time that you need for cooking. Another thing I do is, during Monday to Friday, I minimize my time in social media. Just the strictly necessary to actually promote my videos and my book. It's only in the weekends that I let myself unwind a bit. Basically, what you need to do is to make time every day to make your dreams come true. If you try to do it every single day, you're gonna get tired. So, in my case, I chose Monday to Friday, which are actually the days that I work. The trick was to organize my time during Monday to Friday to work. First at work, and then on my book. 
and I would remain consistent. And every time, my brain said to me, I don't have time today to write, I would stop it. Ah, uh -uh. maybe I'm too tired, but it doesn't mean that I don't have time to write. So are you ready to lead your BS and change your belief system into a productive one to make your dreams come true? Are you ready to stop saying, I can't, I don't have time, and being honest, especially with yourself and saying, I won't, I don't want to make time for this, for those activities that in the bottom of your heart, you know, you don't really want to do. And yes, that means that you will have to say to your friends that you don't meet them this week because you have a project. It means that you have to tell the truth to yourself and to your family. If you want to write a book and if you really want to make time for it, you will need to organize your time very carefully and learning to say no to your friends, not with an excuse, but with the truth. And it bites. I know, it hurts sometimes. People might take a look at you like, why do you need to write that book? Seriously, you can do it tomorrow. Ooh, don't fall for that. Because when you fall for a tomorrow, tomorrow it's gonna be tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow, 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 which means never. You have to be super honest with yourself first. Every time you find yourself with a, I can't, I don't have time for this, stop for a second and think carefully. If you really want it, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna make time for it. If you don't really want to do it, you're just using that I can't, I don't have time as an excuse and that's very dangerous because once you repeat that mantra that excuse so many times you're gonna believe that you can't when in fact you are very very capable of doing it how do you make time to make your dreams come true you need to own your vs and be very very honest with yourself every time that you have an i can't and I don't have time for this in your head. Double check with your heart and your mind. Is it that you really can't do it or that you won't do it? You not only need to be honest with yourself, you will have to be honest with people around you. That means your family, your kids, your friends, which means you have to learn to put some boundaries and it might not seem very well at the beginning, but let me tell you that if you show them how badly you want that, they will understand and they will help you make that dream come true. Remember, excuses are dream killers. Let it sink in. If you had to find time, you would. So be honest. You won't self-sabotage yourself by constantly saying excuses that might end up becoming beliefs. If it's important enough, you'll make time. If not, you'll make an excuse. The worst lies are the ones that we tell ourselves. Reach her back. It's never about having the time. It's about making the time. There are two types of people in the world, those with reasons and those with results. Which one do you want to be? Yeah.